driving around that goddamn uh, infinity, man. Mm-hmm. You know, leaning to the side and shit. When when the white man shows his power, you gonna all you clowns are gonna know that this man is truly the devil. He gonna he gonna he gonna take the gloves off. That's right. That's the time we coming into. Now it says, "Woe to the bloody city! It is full all full of lies and robbery." That's America. That's right. <laughs> all right. You don't you can't get around that, man. It says, "The prey departeth not." Who's the prey? You niggas, man. Which is which are the real Israelites? You know what? The prey the part of not. None of them comedic niggas have when they woke up to the fact that they come it, and none of them hopped on a plane and went back to Africa. Man. Back to so Africa. that's all yep. bullshit. They don't, yep. You don't believe that you're a fucking yep. African man. Yeah. No, the closest you come to African is wearing a pendant with with the with the continent of Africa on it, man. Oh, yeah, and you'll uh, you'll take a trip to Africa. Take pictures of the damn pyramids and shit, and bring your ass back to America. Yeah, cause Shaka Homos, you 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 talk about you got houses and huts and whatever shanty villages or whatever the hell you got going on over there. They got handkerchiefs over there. <laughs> he probably got an engraved handkerchief in his ass. He talk about you got all these houses in Africa, but we see you. Your time is over here in America, man. You seem like you love America more than Africa or Egypt. <laughs> But all that shit is all phony, trying man. Trying to wake up the, the 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 African lost Africans over here. Them them people over there in Africa are more lost. Even Professor Small said that in 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 an interview with uh Sardinetti. He said them people out there, them blacks in oh, Africa, yeah, yeah. are more lost. He said the blacks over here in America are more conscious. So why don't you get over there? Why don't you black conscious guys? Since you're so into waking up your black Africans, take your ass back to Africa, man. Now, 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 now! I went to Google, and I put in uh, predominant religions in Africa. Right? Please go to that, man. You know, forty-seven percent of the of the continent of Africa is uh, Islamic, and pretty much about a good forty-seven percent is Christianity, Roman Catholicism. You know, they actually show you the map, man. Basically, if you go, basically, from Central to Northern Africa is basically Islamic. From Central to Southern Africa, all the way down to South Africa, is basically Christian, whether it's Baptist, Methodist, or Roman Catholicism. Right, he brought the map up. You see? Yeah. Yep. Um, basically, it says... Uh, if you look at the map, you have all different type of letters all over the map. I is Islam, C Christianity, I R equals indigenous religions, uh, H is Hinduism, and J Judaism, and it's all over. Main the main ones is uh, Islam, Christianity. Those are the main two. Yep. Islam. Islam is number one at about forty-seven percent, almost fifty percent, and Christianity. Is like forty some odd percent. So y'all niggas need to get to Africa, man, and wake them niggas up. Yeah, if anybody's lost, it's them niggas. Get to stepping. Yep, because uh, the bottom line, man, you know, you you uh, uh, guys into that uh, um, Afrocentric um, black unconscious uh, community, you're gonna f- find out basically, or the people that, because some of you guys are full of shit. But the people that, 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 right, all of you are full of shit. And the people that's following you, they're going to wake up. But some of them, for some of them, it's going to be too late. Because yep. when all the hell breaks loose, you you guys ain't offering them no solution of what's to come. You talking about, all you guys talking about right now is getting together and trying to start your own businesses and all that. Make your own money and uh, uh, spend money within the community and starting your own businesses. Look, they already tried that in Tulsa, Oklahoma. And the white man burnt them down, man. You know, they, it was called uh, Black, Black Wall Street. Yep. They was on a high level. And they were on a high level, and they got burnt down. But them niggas didn't have a military, man. And it was the U.S. government that burnt them out along with them crackers because they were jealous of niggas making money. You were showing, I can show you white men, and I can make money. I can do just like you. The white man don't want you to do what, what, what they do, man. They don't want you to surpass them, man. Proof of that, Bill Cosby. They they played that dumb nigga, man. Jello pudding pop eating nigga, man. Right? 
we had Oprah, but especially Bill, because at one time he was ch- called himself, oh, I, I made this money, I'm going to buy NBC. They blocked that shit. They blocked it, no, nigga. Nigga, don't, you forgot that you a nigga that, that sells pudding, Jell-O pudding pops? And, and, then, and then he was trying to, I guess he was about to start some other, um, I forget what it was called, he was about, just about to start some type of net, network, some black, big, uh, uh, like a, you two or internet or some shit like that he was doing? He forgot he was a nigga. <laughs> he forgot he was a nigga. Well, and Esau reminded that nigga quick, man. Yeah. Then he tried to buy a Channel 4 well, or first, something like that. Before, he tried to buy a Channel 4, but just recent, he was supposed, he had some venture going on. It was supposed to be a big, like a big venture, like an internet type thing or whatever he was trying to do, make a big move. And then all the allegations, of those old allegations came back out about the rape thing. And they dropped you like a fly, nigga. Yep. All right? Just like they did OJ. Just like they, worse than OJ. Curse it, and curse when thou goes out. And you old as hell looking all fucked up and rusty. Yeah, all right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Camille, my beautiful wife, Camille. Ain't nothing yeah, beautiful. Looking like, looking like Quasimodo's brother. <laughs> one, eye, one eye is all droopy and shit. You got fucking shit all on your face. You look all... Fuck, you look like a damn monster, man. Yeah, you got lobster shit all over your face, man. Yeah, the little black turds and shit all on your face, man. All the millions of billions. Don't, don't, nigga, you, at the end of the day, you a nigga, man. I don't give a damn how much. Just like, just like, just like Floyd Mayweather, man. Yeah. You the, you the, you the half a billion dollar kid, right? Nigga, at the end of the day, you're still a nigga, man. You get your, you get. <laughs> You gonna get your you gonna get your blessed. You're not blessed, man. You might have money, but you're not blessed. When you look at, and you go into the essence of the word blessed, it means for somebody to bow down before you, man. Like the gooks, they come over here, they can open up a, a chain of Chinese restaurants and become billionaires. They still ain't blessed. They got a lot of money, but they're not blessed. The only ones the only ones that are blessed are the super elites that people bow down to them. Sir broke eye. <laughs> that dude got it. his eye. His eyes broke. Hey, that's that's beautiful, man. That's the Lord, man. And then all you dumbass niggas still supporting this clown, man. The most. That's why the Lord is. Hold up, I'm sorry. Yeah. Hey, look at look at O.J. Simpson, man. Oh, he was an honorary white white man until he killed the white woman. Then reality hit him in the face, but he got out of that because he was a mason, man. Right, right. But then he's tried to steal his own shit. And this nigga, what he, he got locked up like five, six years ago, and he's still he, he eating no, it for he, life. He he, how you gonna get locked up for stealing your own shit? To get your own shit back he back went to get his own shit yeah. and got locked up. Ten years to the same but not for killing a cracker bitch, years. but for stealing his own shit. Damn. But that's that's the white man. They show you that look, nigga, you ain't on our level, man. You ain't get. Now you had the other devil, what was it Skako or whatever, Michael Skako and, and Greenwich. He killed that bitch oh, yeah. and, and, and that bounced. Late in the city, related to the Kennedys. Yeah. And he still ain't did no fucking time over that, man. And they know he killed the bitch. You see? But that's the most side, man. Showing you niggas, man, that the white man ain't your friend. He's the goddamn devil. And he's about to come down on you with that fire, man. All right? I'm a matter of fact, I'm going to read on. In the scripture, Nahum 3 and 2. It says, The noise of a whip and the noise of the rattling of the wheels and of the prancing horses and of the jumping chariots. The horseman lifted up both. And this horseman is talking about who? These damn devils, these cops, these pigs. Why do you think they, they got, the, uh, the brothers telling me now they got even state troopers stationed all throughout uh, uh, Grand Central and, and all that.